Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mountain Studio, and today's tip has to do with the code editor. So I don't have any storyboard tips for you this week, so instead I'm going to give you a tip on the code editor. And what I'm going to teach you today is how to create a vertical split for the same code view. And this is one of the things that I really enjoyed in other editors, is you know they had a way where you could create a split, you drag it down, and it allowed you to see the, the top of the code file and the bottom at the same time. Well, you can do that in Xcode, but it's not so obvious. What you have to do is use the Assistant Editor over here. And you notice when I hover over the Assistant Editor button that this little arrow pops up. That's what I want to use. And basically what I'm going to do is click it and hold it down. And you see, I had clicked this earlier, but it says All Editors Stacked Vertically. And if I click that, it's going to open up another editor at the bottom. And this is what I want. You know, I can, I can move this up and down, and it allows me to see two parts of the code file at the same time. But this bottom part isn't the same file, so what I have to do is come down here and go up to Manual and basically find the same file again. It's going to be the controller, and I'm on the view controller. Okay, well that seems like a lot of work, but it allows me to see the bottom of the file and the top of the file at the same time. Okay, so that can be very handy. Well, here's another way that might be a little bit quicker. What you can do, you might know of this tip where you can hold down the command button and you can hover over an object and look into it more. Like I can go into this UI view controller, hold down command, click on UI view controller, and there it is. It brings me up some information on the UI view controller. I can see its properties and its functions. Another thing I can do is I can hold down command option and then click on UI view controller. And look what happens. It opens it up in, a, in the split view and remember, it opened it up vertically or underneath this one because that's what I still have set right here. Normally, by default, it's assistant editors are all on the right, but I changed it to vertical. So what I'm going to do, now that I know that command option and then clicking on a class opens it up vertically, I can just command click or hold down command option and then click on view controller, and it's the same class right below. So now that's an easier way of me being able to open up the vertical split split view, I guess you could call it, and allows me to see two parts of the same class at the same time. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tip. And I basically taught you two things, how to open up a, a vertical code editor window and how to hold down command option and clicking on a class to automatically open up that other class that you just clicked on into a split view. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this tip. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, share it with your friends, and consider subscribing for more tips every Monday. Thank you.